Welcome to CAD Tutorials and in this video I'll be covering practice problem 5.10. Now to start with, we have the values V1 given as 4 volts, we have V2 given as 3 volts and we are asked to find VO which is all the way over here. That shouldn't scare you. So this is a buffer. This is a buffer, it directly translates its input to the output. So at that point we also have V1, V1 which, is, which has a value of 4 volts. And down here we have a an inverting amplifier. The positive is grounded and so it qualifies all of that. So Vx, which is the which I uh, doubled as the output from that point, Vx is equals to negative 50k divided by 10k, multiplied by the input of V2, which is 3. And this is going to be negative 5 multiplied by 3 Vx. So Vx is equals to negative 15 volts. So we have negative 15, negative 15 volts at that point. And at this point, we have that. And now on this side, you can see that this qualifies as a summing amplifier. We have an input, a resistor along the path. We have an input, a resistor along the path adding up to the negative terminal of this op amp and therefore using the formula for a summing amplifier vo is equal to you have two inputs so expect to have two terms in here so 60k divided by 20k multiplied by 4 plus 60k divided by 30k multiplied by negative 15 and now punching that into your calculator or just simplifying, let's try to simplify. We're going to have, this is 60 divided by that, so we're going to have 3 multiplied by 4. We're going to have 2 multiplied by that. And so in here, we are going to have V, or it's equal to negative 12, negative 30. So this is negative 18. So negative, negative 18 is going to give you a value of 18 volts. And that is your value for VO.